Hello, this is a two metre long Backstein, uh, purportedly made in 1895. This it caught me out completely, this piano, because there's many things on it which uh, are not commensurate with that. Um, and in fact, uh, it's very unusual indeed. There's lots of work's been done on it. Um, if you're a technician and watching this, we very much value your opinion as to what you think's been, happen uh, have been done to the piano. Uh, let's uh, just try and assess it mechanically as well for, for what would improve it. Now the keys here are extremely good, con extremely good condition. Um, that's the original name, but it looks as though someone's had an attempt at pulling it out because you can see the line here where um, you'd often find that they're taken out. So it can be modernized, but it hasn't been. And this music desk is obviously not that of that age of piano. Um, it's 1902 plus, I would think. I don't know if any technicians can verify that if they've seen one earlier than that, but I don't think so. And if you look down here, it's two meters long, this piano, um, but it's rounded edge, not fishtail. Normally, the, uh, you next time come to a point here at that age of piano. So what, one would expect this to be post-1902. There are some, we do get Beckstein sometimes with rounded ends that are older than that, but not really before 1900. So this is 1895, uh, which it could, the number says it is, and we'll look at the number, we'll also look underneath the piano. So there's a serial put on it. It's obviously been restrung and reconditioned generally. Normally the serial number's the other way around on Beckstein's. I don't know if they ever were that way around, but uh, that number's commensurate with the 1894, 1895. And normally you check that by looking underneath, and you can see the number here is 98, sorry, it's upside down, 9878, uh, which uh, is roughly commensurate with that same that age as well. And it's got the same number on the soundboard, so I don't think you can see that on the video very well. Now, the soundboard is cracked. I don't think it's any, any evidence of shimming, but the cracks haven't opened up very much. There's one over here that's slightly opened up. It's very slightly lost its down bearing, which you expect in a piano of this age. And obviously been refinished because you can see where they've masked over the, uh, the, the, the decal name there. There's an 88 note piano like the old Model 5. There's no 5 on the frame at all. Um, on older ones, you don't get numbers on the frame. We had an 1887 one recently in stock and there was no number on the frame here. No B or, sorry, no, no V, which you get on the Model 5s. Um, so that suggests it's older. And there's another interesting thing we're going to look at in a minute. I forgot to mention that as well as the music stand, obviously the the, the legs and lyre have been replaced uh, with square ones. So that's co quite commonly done. Um, so there's been modernized generally. Now look at the action generally. And this really caught me out because it has, uh, it has some wooden action standards, which... Uh, you get in the 1880s ones, and I haven't seen them in the 19, 1895 one before. And the keys here, they have capstans, as you can see. So clearly, uh, the old rocker system, which would have been on, definitely in the piano if it's that old, has been replaced. And there's no evidence, as you get from filling the holes of the old rocker system, no evidence of it being done. So I suspect the whole keyboard's been redone. So that's so unusual that it'd be useful if you've got a technician can give your opinion on this. But these keys also, they don't strike me as being of that age of piano. Um, if you look at the grain, very nice grain on them as well. And uh, if we look at the action, it's, very, it's, it's either well cleaned up or it's, it's just a newer action generally. So it's unusual to get a Beckstein where so much has been done um, in a non-standard way, shall we say. Now, looking at the action, uh, we can see if we look at the we look at the levers here, they have no adjustment on the lever here uh, for the jack, and that's commensurate with very old Becksteins. As I say, the one we had that was 1887 had the same system. Um, so you rely on the thickness of the felt here for the positioning of the jack, um, and it works well. But obviously, it's much nicer to have an adjustment there as well. But this would again be suggesting the action is older. So we have the wooden action standards, we have the, the lever there. Um, a curious piano indeed. So please do think about it if you're a technician and see if you can help us. Uh, the hammer's resting on the roller here, uh, sorry, on the, on the rail here, which it shouldn't be. 
uh, for changing the rollers here. We've talked about this many times. Hammers, shanks and rollers would be the obvious work to do on this. The hammers also, the touch doesn't quite feel right. Um, the, I suspect the hammers are a bit heavy, heavier than they should be. Um, interesting enough, the spring is well regulated there. Uh, those are working well. The, the back checks are well worn. Um, just want to look at the base hammers because the base hammers are actually above the rail, quite considerably above the rail. So there's been regulation going, going on there. I definitely would change the rollers at least rather than uh, if you, well, we need to change the hammer shanks and rollers because these hinges are also getting loose. So there's no, there's no way you can, should skimp on that really. The hammers, uh, the piano's been restrung, you can tell by the style of the strings, but also the fact that the tuning pins aren't the original. This hammer's a standard, uh, this is a standard star tuning lever and it's fit, fitting on a bit higher than it would do if they're original. Uh, the original back lines are really small and this is quite tight on, on these ones. So, uh, and the, I've tested them, There's no, they don't click and uh, also they're quite tight. So that's encouraging really. Um, so if... Uh, this piano was just, I think the action works the main thing to do. Let's listen to the tone of it. Well, it would be improved with the restringing, but it's reasonably good, reasonably rich, quite warm there. Break point's not too bad. And going up, the hammers are what's letting it down, really, because the strings are good. Round here, slightly, slightly lost its down bearing, as, and particularly there. Where, that would be a matter of recapping the bridge or or just uh, altering the down bearing in another way. Around this side is fine. I'm going right up. Damping's good as well, so lots of good things to say about the piano. Up to the top, the top few hammers. Well, that's to do with the hammers again. Um, they need more point, be more pointed. But a set of new hammers, we could easily do that. So that's an assessment of the next time two metre long grand piano and probably maybe an 1895-ish and it's caught me out more than any other Bechstein grand I've ever assessed in terms of what what his age is because the action style looks older than that and yet it's been modernised too and there's no the rockers have been changed and uh, capstans have been put on so I don't know how they've done that. It looks like the keys themselves have been changed. If you're a technician, you may understand this a lot better than I do. Uh, maybe it doesn't catch you out in the same way, but it certainly catches me out. The general tone of the piano is what you'd expect for that age of piano. And uh, by and large, the work's been very done very well on it. But the hammers now are um, very are worn. They're not producing, it's not, clean, not a clean sound. It's lost its down bearing a bit there on that note, but uh, um, obviously you have to fully restore the piano if you're going to bring, bring that back. Um, but the main thing is the hammers, shanks and rollers, as we've said many times before. And I, I think that could be done easily enough. The action, again, doesn't have an adjustment for the jacks, which is what you'd expect from 1887 or 1885 next time. If you're a technician, please help, because uh, I haven't assessed this as well as I'd like to have done, because I don't understand the piano. Tuning pins are tight, which is encouraging. Um, so that side of it is really, really good. It doesn't feel at all good. The hammers are the wrong hammers, I think, the ones that have been changed, or it hasn't been reweighted properly. Um, as you press down, you don't get the control that you'd hope to. Works well. It's only when you compare it with other Bechsteins that you expect it to be better. And as you can hear, it's a typical overall good tone of a Bechstein. It's not a fish tail either, which you'd expect from this age of piano. So many curious things, many anomalies that I don't understand, and uh, really, really value opinion. So please leave your comments. Also, this has been changed, and you can see the finger marks here. Uh, it's a huge. I think maybe the dogs tried to play this piano because uh, that's, that's obviously it.
fingernails, but it's quite extreme. And on the sides of the shafts, you can't see them from that side, but are extremely um, white. So they've been obviously that's again that's again nails. Thank you very much for listening.